Hello everyone, good evening, I'm Katrina. It's a mess tonight, just like my hair is a mess, but so what? You're gonna see behind the scenes of me actually working and me finishing up this large tumbler order that I did. If this is your first time here, welcome. You're here because I'm gonna show you how to supplement tumblers fast and easy, but I'm gonna show you how to fix a few mistakes as well. Of course, when you have a large order, every tumbler is not gonna come out perfect, right? Mm. So I'm mad. I made some little small mistakes in the beginning, not double checking. And I have like, you know, the paper wasn't tall enough, which I thought it was. I thought it was measured correctly. It was measured correctly, but my printer didn't print it out. I had to do borderless. So always make sure that when you do your tumblers that you're printing out borderless. I was using my new printer and it wasn't set to borderless. So of course it shrunk the image or cut off the image a little bit. So I'm fixing that. Um, also, I'm going to show you how you can take off your supplementation and then resupplement. So I'm going to show you that as well. So now I know I have a lot of new people that's supplementing, a lot of people that's getting into tumblers or just starting. I posted a quick reel on my Instagram and I posted it on my stories here in the shorts. And some people said, I hope you do it slow. So I'm just going to show you how I do it really slow. I'll take you through all of that. But I'm going to... Um, just chop this down. I'm going to unwrap these because I'm also checking out something. I rewrapped the tumbler. I literally rewrapped the tumbler for the first time because it had one little mistake in it. And I'm like, I'm not about to burn off this whole tumbler. So I want to see if I wrapped it flawlessly and perfectly in the same position to um, make it work. Because I already have to do some of these tumblers. These are the good tumblers. These are the bad tumblers, so I have to fix them. So just watch me work tonight. I'm going to show you some tips, and hopefully, you know, this helps you out as well. So first, I'm going to unwrap these. I'll tell you all my settings that I use for the sublimation oven. I'm using the sublimation oven from Heat Transfer Warehouse, of course. You can fit as many. Well, I've only put up to eight tumblers in there laying down um, with the two racks because when you stand them up, this is hot because I've been using it pretty much all day. Hopefully I'm still in frame. You can't really stand them up. Oh, you can. Let's stand them up next time. And let's see how many. Oh, you can. I think I did it before standing up. So you can stand them up or lay them down. So I'm going to stand them up this time. Um, I'm not sure how many I can stand up in a row. Either way, I think you can still only fit eight. If you're laying them down or standing them up. So standing them up. You do not have to rotate them. Someone had asked me that. Um, I've never opened my tumbler and rotated it because it's hot air and it flows through the entire oven um, with the exact same um, temperature throughout. You do need to warm that tumbler up some. So just like you warm up your mug press, you just can't turn it on and stick your tumblers in there. You do have to warm it up. So I'm unwrapping. I just took out four. And one of them, I'm not sure which one it is, that I did, I rewrapped one that was already supplemented. So I have no idea how that one's going to come out. I'm trying to see, because the tumbler was already messed up. So either way, I would have to redo it over. But I'm trying to see if I can save it. All right, so here we go. Perfect tumbler, perfect tumbler. Ooh, perfect tumbler. I don't know if that's the one yet. I don't know. I can't tell. So, see those edges? See those edges? And I'm going to tell y'all a little trick. A lot of y'all be taping up the top, taping up the bottom. I don't do all that. Y'all see this? One line down the middle. Only got one down here. Nothing up here. I do not tape up my tumblers like it's crazy. We're not wasting all that tape. There's no need. If you heat shrink your bag correctly... Um, there's just no need because it's applying the pressure for you. So now some, I noticed, I've noticed, this is just me. This is how I do it. I have noticed that when I do take my tumbler sometime, um, all the way around, sometimes they come out perfect, but more often than not, they come out, they come out splotchy. Like, I don't know if that's a good one. Let me see. I have a few. And they sure gonna get them because I'm not about to do all these tumblers over. It's only a few, but for the most part, all of them are perfect at the bottom. So you see that? I don't know if you can really see it. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on it. But it's just a little splotchy. So I don't tape up my bottom. 
And I definitely never take the top. The top is always perfect. Uh, because it's going to get that seal once you heat shrink it. So as you see, that's not taped at the bottom. It's not taped at the top. It's only taped down the middle. And I do not, when I'm using a heat shrink bag, sometimes I do, but when you're using a heat shrink bag, you do not have to put extra paper over it. I don't. This is straight sublimation paper. No butcher paper, no, um, no um, parchment paper on top of it. So I'm just going to unwrap these really quick. And then I'm going to show you how I wrap them, and I'm going to show you how you can take this off. I had a video, I think I, sh I showed a video with mugs, taking sublimation off of the mugs. But um, everyone keeps asking me, can you do it with the tumblers? The method that I showed before with, was with the white, um, white vinegar or the apple cider vinegar. That's a long process. That involves scrubbing. I'm not about to scrub this whole tumbler. Now you can. I have put them back in the convection oven to bake them off. You can bake them at 400 degrees. But guess what your girl did when I moved? I threw out my old convection oven. So like these that I had messed up, I was like, oh, you see this line right here? I messed that up. And I messed it up. This would have been a perfect tumbler. But this is why I don't always wrap the paper. The sublimation paper was wrapped perfectly nice and tight. But for whatever the reason, when I went and put another paper over, it scrunched it up just a little bit. And of course, I got that line there. So now I have to redo this tumbler. Um, so I'm trying to find out if I can just rewrap it and it'll come out perfect. So I'm going to show you how you can take it off. And I'll show you how I wrap them. Okay, this one came out perfect too. Look at that. That came out perfect too. I put four in there this time. I put four. I'll be doing four, work four, put four in. So those letters are all perfect. There was only one. There's only one more left in there. Oh, Lord. Come on. I hope this one came out perfect. Even though I do these tumblers all the time, every time you unwrap a tumbler, you're like, Lord, please let it come out. Like the TikTok says, please don't let it be ugly. Don't let it be ugly. Tumblers are not cheap. See that? No tape around the sides. Oh, my Lord. Okay. I'm nervous because the other three came out perfect. So I'm hoping this is the one. Wait, did I put it in? This might be it right here. I might not have even, I don't even think I put it in the oven yet. I think this is the one. I'm really bugging. Yep, this one came out perfect too. That one came out perfect. Okay, so what I'm about to do, we are almost at the end of the tumblers. I'm like running out of desk space, running out of desk space. Okay. So I told you that you can burn off your tumbler, right? Where is it at? Where's the one I burned off? I'm going to show you how you do it. I have to go in my garage back, so we're going to go in the garage tonight. So I messed up one. I took it off, right? But then I resupplemate it right over it. Now, normally, typically, I wouldn't put the same design back on top because this design that I'm doing, which, of course, I got the you know background pattern from, Creative Fabrica, link is down below in the description box. I always talk about them. So if you want the size of the, the templates and all that, you can get that all on Creative Fabrica. Some people was asking me what size do I use. The templates and all that are on Creative Fabrica as well as many backgrounds that you can use for supplementation for your tumblers. This is light. You see that? That's This part is dark. You can resupplement, but Technically, I wouldn't resupplement the same design because you would need something darker in those lighter areas so that way you don't see that background coming through. But I said, let me see. Let me see, Trina. Because I've done it a while ago with. Bah, 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 bah. I can't reach, I'm short. My step stool. The first time I ever resupplemented something that I burned off, I did this mug. So if you look a, if you take a close look at this mug, the background that was on it before was like a big like red hat. And then I put thinking that, you know, I have the black, it's gonna be really it's gonna go um completely over it. But do you see all those light parts of my body, my skin? Yes, that's me and my son when he's a baby. You can see the red hat through the background. 
So all the black areas that were sublimated came out perfectly. But everywhere that was light, you can see through it. So technically, when you take your sublimation off, when you get your old design off that you messed up, and when you resupplement, it needs to be something darker. So I just did it because I said, let me see how it will come out if I did the exact same design, exact same colors. But mind you, when you burn off, you're going to leave like a little stain. So this is what I'm burning off. When I burn off the black, when I burn off the blue, it kind of spreads and it kind of leaves, you know, like a yellowish tint, a yellowish tint. This is what happened when I resupplemented it. This is what it looked like when I resupplemented it. So you can see behind, look closely behind the letters at how it looks. My mother was like, that looks fine. No one's gonna notice. No one's gonna notice. I notice. Everything else looks pretty much perfect. But where those letters are, you can see the yellow tint behind it. And that's what I don't like. So I'm debating on should I send it because it looks different from the rest. So if you were the person, if you ordered all these tumblers, what would you say? This is the good one. This is the one that was redone, resupplemented after I burnt the image off underneath. Hopefully you can see good. Let me know what you think. I'm torn. Do I send it like that? Because, you know, it doesn't look bad, right? But if you're sitting next to the person drinking yours and you're sitting right here, you be like, wait, why am I look yellowish? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I'm going to show you how I wrap my tumblers nice and tight. Show you how I wrap them. All my tumblers come from Heat Transfer Warehouse as well. I have a mess here. I have a mess here. This is the one that, um, that I re-wrapped. I did not burn off the image. So I'm praying that it comes out perfectly. So these are the ones I have to redo. That's a lot of tumblers I have to burn off. I've never had that many messed up tumblers. So, gotta save it. And I gotta finish this order to ship this out for tomorrow. So I'm just using my little slicer to slice off the edges. You don't want any white showing on the side. You don't want any white showing on the side. You want it to be a perfect closed wrap when you wrap it. Okay, so this is how I do my tumblers. Okay, got my tumbler right here. Got the design right here. I'm just gonna, I'm using the bottom. Some people roll it, but I do it standing up and I'm pulling it. I'm making sure my bottom is even. And I'm gonna tuck it under. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight, nice and tight. It's flush with the bottom. And now I'm gonna tape that, hold that in place. And I'm just gonna tape all the way up. Making sure it's tight all the way around. I like my tape to overlap, so hopefully some, you know, the perfect peel off is when it all comes off at once. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going up. Now sometimes I cut that off and I'll show you. Sometimes I'm just like whatever and I leave it. But most of the times I just cut it off if it's a little higher. I always make my design a little higher because I don't ever want Where's it at? I don't ever want that to happen. That's a no-no. That is what you do not want. That is what you do not want. So it's always better to have it a little bit higher. So you see that? I'll just put one on this side because I want to hold it in place for when I put it in the, the heat shrink bag. And that's all I do. I do not tape the top. I do not tape the bottom. Let's go ahead and put both of these in the heat shrink bags. I'm using the heat shrink bags from Heat Transfer Warehouse as well, but you can definitely get them on Amazon. I ordered some off of Amazon, but I never used them yet. 
So I can't say they were cheaper, but I can't say how well they're, they, um, they are. It was mixed reviews. So I'm just using these because I know these work great. Before I was using the clear ones from Coastal Business Supplies. Those work really great as well. So when you have it open on both sides, you want to make sure that your tumbler is in the middle. So that way when you seal it, it seals the bottom and it seals the top. So it's always on 195 degrees Celsius. I'm just going to heat this up for four minutes while I'm doing that. 195 degrees Celsius. You have to hit that hot air button. Wagner heat gun. So I start in the middle and I go up. Make sure those edges and then I go down. Make sure it tucks under. Okay. I'm pushing that up. So hopefully you can see. I have about that much space on both sides. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go up. Seal on one side first, that's what I do, and then I bring it down to make sure it goes all the way down. Get all those corners all the way around. I try to make sure everything is flush. Okay, so I did a video, a review on this in uh, my last video, one of the last videos I did. And I didn't really like it because I guess I didn't know how to use it properly. So there's a little trick to this. So shout out to Monica. She messaged me after she saw my video and she showed me how to use this. I'm going to show you guys how to use this properly. And I was like, word, really? They should have showed me how to use it. So all you want to do is you want to put it over. Now, of course, I have a heat shrink bag, so you don't technically need this. But you would have to tape up your um, sublimation really well so your paper doesn't slide. If you're using this, you have to tape up. Like, you do have to tape up the top, the bottom, and everything because you don't want your paper to move. You would need to use butcher paper or parchment paper um, or plain white paper after you put your um, sublimation paper in because you don't want your design to bleed through on here. So you would use this, put this over it. Man, I love my viewers. You guys be looking out for me like none other. She sent me a video immediately. So now I was struggling trying to pull this thing down, struggling. She was like, all you gotta do is hit it from the top, let that air go down. It's the pressure. Are you kidding me? Do you see how easy that was? How easy that was? Now, it's still hard to take off. But she was like, girl, you were struggling. Thank you, Monica. Thank you so much for hooking me up. That's how you use these. So if you have these, this comes, this, and it works really well. And um, she said, of course, the more you use it, of course, the you know, looser it gets. So that was really great. So I'm going to put these in there. I'm going to keep working. So I'm going to put these in here. And then we're going to go in the garage. I'm going to show you how you take off the sublimation if you do mess up your design. Really easy, really fast and simple. And then I'm just going to show you the finished product of all the tumblers that are done. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, I had to put my son in the bed. Okay, so this time I'm not going to use a rack. I'm just going to sit them up. And I did put these two bands on them. Those come in great as well. It came with this package. All right, so I'm just sticking these two in here because I do have to go and fix the other ones. And then I'll show you how you can put eight in there at once. So with two, um, now it does, have, it does have a book that comes with it. But I'm just going to stick it on um, eight minutes for two. Once I see that it's fully, once you start to see those colors pop through, then you know it's good. And I pray that it comes out perfect because one of them, again, I rewrapped. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you how you can fix your mistakes and show you how you can take off your sublimation if you do mess up your tumblers. Let's go. 
I'm gonna take it out, but I added one more in there only because I can see, ooh, that burned through. I hope I didn't mess up this tumbler. Ooh. I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm, Reese, I'm trying something. I'm trying to fix the tumblers that I messed up. So I need to put that one in there for like maybe, let's do three more minutes. I'm gonna let this cool down for a quick second. Now this is the first time that ever happened. It might have touched that bar. Oh Lord, it might have touched the bar. Y'all saw that? I don't normally stand my tumblers up. I'm gonna be mad at that. Yep, it touched the bar, cause look at that. So I don't, I won't be doing that anymore. I laid them down. Oh, I'm gonna be mad if that came out perfect and it messed up because, look, and it burnt my band. Okay, yeah, so I won't be standing them up anymore. God dog it. So you can sublimate eight or 10 tumblers at one time and I did 195 degrees Celsius for 16 minutes. Almost burnt the band. Okay, so I don't remember which one was the one that I recovered, but I, I'm pretty sure I'll see it once I, once I unwrap it. So this was the one that I overlaid. This is the one that I overlaid. It's pretty much on point. It's like a smidget off. I mean, I got it almost perfect. That's crazy, but you can tell in some, oh yeah, it went off with the image. All right, so again, this was one that I had messed up. You can kind of see it up here. Kind of. The ring light might be messing it up. But as I turn this, now you can see where I overlaid the letters and it shifted a little bit. Should have been brought down. So it was hard to see when you're wrapping it. It's hard to see. So it starts looking blurry and clear. So it started looking blurry and you can definitely see where I messed it up. So I got to redo this one, but I got my scene perfect. Almost perfect, that scene. Oh, another one that I have to do. But y'all see the bottom? Y'all can see up close how I never, never take my bottom. Look at that bottom. Ha, look at that back. Gotta do this. At least it didn't burn the tumbler. I thought it was gonna burn the tumbler actually, but it didn't. It just burned through the, through the paper. All right, so let's take this one off and it's hot. And when I roll it down, it doesn't help either because I wish I could just like hit it out. So even though I found an easier way to get the silicone wrap on, I still had a time getting it off. So you can try it if you like, but it's a no for me because these things are just really a hassle and I don't have time for all this. All right. This was one that I did actually to show you guys how I wrap it. All right, let's hope this one is perfect. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. We go through this every time we unwrap a tumbler, right? No matter how many tumblers we do. And of course, time I'm on camera. Time I'm on camera with you guys. I get some splotches at the bottom. I tell you, boy. See how the enemy work? See how the enemy work? Time I do it on camera. Look at that. Time I do it on camera. All my other ones will come out perfect. The time I do it on camera and show you guys. Okay, so do not mind my junky garage. I'm going to show you how you can remove the sublimation really fast and easy. I only need one glove. Um, if you do not have your oven. So as you see, I did this one already. It doesn't even matter how many times. You can do it multiple times. I'm using my regular heat gun. Have it on high. And just be patient. And it's actually quicker than doing it if you were sticking it in your actual convection oven. So I'm just applying it straight to the tumbler. I'm going to show you on the dark side first, making sure I'm in flame. And you're going to start to see the sublimation 
disappear. Look at that. All the way around. You definitely don't want to do this in the house because you will set off the smoke detector. I kept doing that. I said, let me go in the garage. So it literally removes all that coloring. This is a quick way to remove the sublimation. So as long as you have something darker to sublimate over it, you're golden. You do not have to throw out your tumblers. You do not have to waste your tumblers. You can still use them. Or you can always just spray paint them and do epoxy, or you can do a water slide method as well. So your tumblers never have to go to waste. There's always a way to fix it. Look how the wording is coming right off. And I'm holding this heat gun down away from my hand. I definitely don't want to burn myself. So I'm going to speed through the rest of this and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all done. So these are the two I just did. And like I said, it doesn't remove it all the way. You're going to get, you know, just faded, a faded look, but it removes a lot of that color. So now you can resupplement it with another dark image, but I'm not really too much worried about it because I can easily just spray paint these and epoxy it or do a full complete water slide and epoxy it. So either way, I'm just trying to show you how you can remove, you know, some of the color. I'm pretty sure there's some other things out there that people buy to remove it completely, but I'm just not getting ready to scrub a whole entire tumbler. I just want to show you this quick process of how you can remove the sublimation really fast and easy using a heat gun if you don't have a convection oven. So the convection oven will get the same effect, but just will take longer. So there you go. Now you can rewrap them or you can spray paint them or you can resupplement them. So these are all my 64 good tumblers right here, all of them. And of course, these over here are the ones I messed up. I messed up two, four, six, seven tumblers I messed up. Seven tumblers, people. Who messes up seven whole tumblers in a process? So now that I'm done, I'm going to wipe off each and every tumbler really quick, remove the caps, because of course, you know, I've been handling them, I've been touching them. So I'm just going to give it a wipe down for each one. With some alcohol, put it to the side, and I'm just going to do that for each and every one. Yes, it's tedious, but something that you must do. Put the tops back on, and I'll slide them that way, actually. The ones I wipe off. And I'm going to put them right back in their boxes with the plastic, and I'll stick a little thank you sticker on each and every one, and then put them in a big box to ship off. And it's a wrap. We got through it. I almost blew it. I literally blew through 75 tumblers trying to make 65. 
I spaced it out. I did not do them all in one day because, of course, I have other jobs, other things I have to do and push out other orders all while being a mom. So I split it up and I did 20 something, you know, at a time. Thanks for hanging with me tonight as I fulfilled this large Tumblr order. Hope you found some helpful tips. If you did, you already know what to do. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, join the crew, and I will see you next time.